He'd been told he'd never walk again. Sebastien Turbler was paralysed from the waist down after a bicycle accident five years ago. But now, thanks to breakthrough technology, he's taking tentative steps forward. So Sebastien basically had no ability to activate single muscles of both legs. It's what we say, like a motor complete paraplegia. And now, with some training, he's able to really trigger, like for example, a full leg extension of his leg. So he basically recovered a lot of control over the paralyzed muscles, despite you know, more than four years of complete paralysis. It's all down to a tiny electronic implant placed over the damaged area of the spinal cord. It helps boost signals from the brain to his legs, giving Sebastien back some control over his paralyzed limbs. It's not easy and has taken months of rehabilitation, but it's life-changing progress for the three patients involved in the study. The idea is that you are repairing the injured spinal cord. So in human, we don't know the mechanism, but in animal models, we have clearly seen that with this type of training, nerve fibers start regrowing, reorganizing. That's why the brain regains control over the movement of the paralyzed leg. The first such implant was developed in 2010, and earlier this year, two other groups of scientists reported similar success. But this research goes one step further, targeting the electronic pulses to specific locations. Yeah. Yeah, three steps. It's really like a, like running a marathon and holding eggs in your hands and you're trying not to squeeze them. And at the same time, you're pushing as hard as you can. So you really need to find a, a good balance of uh, pushing hard and trying to get each and every muscle at the right timing in the right place. The three men still mostly rely on wheelchairs, and the scientists are warning the treatment won't work for the most severe injuries. So room for improvement, maybe, but definitely room for hope. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.